This is E.T. Secession. That's where a state leaves the Union. Well, it did not fare well by 1865, and it's doubtful that it would today. But two legal options exist that could satisfy those wishing to exit the USA. Option number one, intrastate secession, where, say, a rural part of a state could split from the more urban part, or vice versa, and either be annexed into another state or become a new state. Now, that last option, the new state, actually has happened twice, when during the Civil War, a part of Virginia joined the Union as West Virginia, and in 1820, when Maine split from Massachusetts. Today, there's talk of Eastern Oregon splitting from the western part of the state and either forming a new state with Eastern Washington State or joining Idaho. Option number two, reignite Amendment number 10. That read this way. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states, respectively, or to the people. Put simply, no state, without congressional approval, can do things like print money, implement tariffs, exercise any powers expressly given only to Congress. The only limits to the Tenth Amendment would be another amendment, Number 14, that denies a state ability to abridge privileges or immunities of any citizen or deprive any citizen of life, liberty, and property without due process of law. And a state cannot deny any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Put simply, these two options would allow actual democratic choices for citizens to do things like implement laws dealing with law and order, religion, virtually any social matter, to do all of these without federal interference. In other words, they're able to do what the Constitution actually says they can do. Will implementation of these two options solve all of the problems vexing the American people? No, they won't, but they will. Free some more conservative citizens, mostly from rural areas, from domination by more liberal urban enclaves, and could offer them, if new states are created, more electoral college votes in presidential elections. And they will afford more progressive areas the opportunity to social experimentation. Well, what do you think? Type in your comments below, share these videos, and do hit that thumbs up icon. Thank you.